What's up guys, it's Dave from UltraMegaDeathRay.com here. I'm going to be showing you the trailer that came out for Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. This is the latest entry in the Assassin's Creed series. It's going to have more of a pirate theme to it. You're going to be playing as Edward Kenway, otherwise known as the father of Haytham Kenway and grandfather of Connor, both from Assassin's Creed 3. So without further ado, let's get right to the trailer and I'm going to give my own commentary as we go through it. All right, lads. I'll give you Blackbeard's honest opinion. So, yep, we start off with Blackbeard, one of the most infamous pirates in the Caribbean in the early 1700s. It's unclear whether he's going to be a villain or someone who's going to join you or help you in some way, but we do know that he's not going to be the only real pirate in Assassin's Creed 4. There's Benjamin Hornigold, who was an English pirate at the time, who actually turned into a pirate hunter and went after his former allies. There is also another English pirate named Calico Jack, who is well known for wearing calico clothing. Alongside him will be Anne Bonny, who was one of the few female pirates at that time, and was actually from Ireland. Another English pirate who will be joining in is Charles Vane, whose pirate career lasted about three years and set sail on a ship called the Ranger. You ask me, can this new captain promise you a life of prizes, plunder, and adventure? And here we get our first look at Edward himself. According to his biography, he is considered very charming and charismatic, and was a pirate first before eventually joining the Assassin's Order. His own son, Haytham, considered him a mystery, but he still learned a lot from his father, such as how to fight as well as the struggle between the Assassins and the Templars. It is also known from his biography that he dies in 1735. Edward's house was infiltrated by masked men where they killed him and kidnapped his daughter. It was shortly before this that he got into an argument with his friend Reginald Birch, who actually ended up becoming Haytham's legal guardian after the event. It's not specifically stated that Reginald was responsible for Edward's death, but considering that Haytham did become a Templar shortly after being under his care, that scenario seems likely. Aye. For amongst all the gentlemen of fortune sailing these West Indies, he ranks amongst the most clever. There was a time when I thought myself the deadliest scourge of these seas. Looks like dual wielding is confirmed. We can see Edward here getting locked and loaded with four pistols and two swords. We'll get to see this one-man army in action in a bit. But this man is a fearsome... Oh yeah, we're gonna be boarding ships pirate style. We can see Edward here swinging from a rope coming from god knows where. I consider it the Spider-Man effect. From what I understand, we'll be able to seamlessly go from our ship to the enemy's ship, kill the captain, and then take it over. Dark, the fiends of trouble and turmoil. I seen him clear the deck of a Spanish galleon like it were nothing. We're getting our first taste of what the enemies are like from this unfortunate chap who's about to get the big ol' headbutt of doom. Based on how he's dressed and the style of his hat, it seems like we're going up against the British government. Which would make sense actually because of the reason why people became pirates in the first place. It was basically so as to get away from the British government and forge their own path. Fighting like a devil, dressed as a man. Environmental attacks? Sure looks like it. In this case, we're seeing Edward use a piece of wood that's splintered off from the broken crate. I have also personally seen some footage where you get to use a bottle that's on a table as well, so I can see a legitimate bar fight happening from this. And he's a canny one. Knows his this part right here has me intrigued the most. Are you telling me that Ubisoft is comfortable enough having underwater sections in an Assassin's Creed game? I'm just scratching my head on how they plan to make this work. For one thing, it's not like we have deep sea equipment back in this time. Is there going to be some kind of magical gameplay element that will allow us to keep our air supply up? Is this another way for us to look for buried treasure? Way round every crag and crevice of these islands. Am I the only one thinking of the God of War series when I see this? If they truly want to rip it off, then this is going to be a minigame. Although, personally, I'm kind of crossing my fingers it won't be. 
So if it's fortune and adventure you seek, then Captain Edward Kenway's your man. Only, don't meddle in his private affairs. For there's more mystery to that man than even I dare ask. And just in case you forgot, yes, Edward is indeed an assassin as well. I'm not entirely sure who this guy is supposed to be, but as you're going to see from the rest of this trailer playing off, Edward does run off with his girl. I don't know if maybe this is some kind of mechanic where you have to use the lady in order to sneak in somewhere, or maybe you're just being a dick and you want to steal everyone's girl. <laughs> I mean, at this rate on how much I know about Edward, it wouldn't really surprise me too much. So that was Assassin's Creed 4. I hope you guys enjoyed my commentary while you got to watch it. Please feel free to like the video, subscribe, leave comments, leave me feedback. I always appreciate feedback on how I can make these videos better. So until next time, this is Dave from UltramegaDeathRay.com. I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>